Welcome back to Big Games for Little Sis. This is part two. I've gone home. Alright, I looked up because I just couldn't find it. Uh, turns out we have to go back to the secret passage. And believe it or not, there's a secret in the secret passage. Would you look at that? Ghost Hunters, Sam and Lonnie, Secret House Investigation Log, found hidden compartments. Three! Evidence of the supernatural is discovered. Zero. The search continues. So, yeah, at this point, now we have to go find the other things. Still don't know if there's any actual supernatural stuff going on, though. I fully reserve the right to be terrified. Right? Yes? Yeah, I knew there was something weird. The Misfits! So the special guest's Maidenhead. At Tot's brother's place after the show, there was only a futon to sleep on, so Lonnie and I shared it. The lights went out. I was turned toward her, my eyes started to adjust, and then I could see she was looking at me, too. <gasps> In the dark, she smiled. And did you smooch? My heart was beating so fast. Uh. I rolled over. I felt so, I don't know, nervous? After a minute, she put her arm around me, and was so close. And whispered in my blah, blah, ear. Blah. Well, here, we're here for important I stuff. I really like you. We're here to solve mysteries. I just nodded my head, and I really hope she could tell. I really hope that she meant what I think she it. did. I felt like a shook up can of soda ever since. I hope we have the chance to talk before I explode. The writing in this is actually pretty good because it's like the incredibly accurate level of. Like, teenager cringe you would come to expect from this. Uh, blah, blah, blah. More writing. Private, do not read. Allegra, blah, blah, blah. The Amazonian Queen, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> uh, incredibly cringy. Alright, so we got those two... There and there. And there's another one up here. Yes. Boo. Okay. Not this time. There's a panel somewhere. Just kidding. Panel in here. There's the Luigi board. Read the note. Hello, who are you? Oscar. What do you want? Tucumba. Oscar wants Tucumba? I don't know what that means. Uh, camera just had a small seizure. Luigi board. Yes, no, or death. That seems about right. Yoink. And that is how you actually get the combination. There's no other way. So, combo. Zero, 051. To open, turn first number, turn right three times, stop at. Wait, what? Hold on. I have to use my whole brain for this. To open, turn right three times, stop at the first number. Should I write this down? Alright, write three times, stop at zero. Turn left once, full turn passing the first number to stop at the second number. Turn right and stop at third number, full shackle. That's oh, very complicated. Alright, we're gonna snap a quick piactor of that. Click clack. 
Right, let's do it. Combination is zero. Oh, I don't actually have to do any of that. Wow. Okay, fine. <laughs> Here I am. Getting all prepared for nothing. Lonnie. Oh, I think she likes that girl. Take the key. Boom. Lonnie came over today. But everything was... <gasps> Uh-oh. She's stolen she her... At my desk oh, wait, that's the X-Files. And she wouldn't Julian look Anderson. at me. Finally, I asked her what was going on. She said she felt like she'd done something wrong that night in the city. Like I must think... But I said Cigarettes. no. Cigarettes. There was nothing wrong. And she's still in her dad's I just wanted to say... Mags. Unbelievable. But I couldn't find the words. I felt like I was going to cry, but I wasn't sad. She got up and sat next to me on the bed. I looked at her. And she looked at me. Lonnie. Do you think you could ever love a werewolf? Do you think you could ever... Love a werewolf? And that's when she kissed me. <laughs> Wait, why did I just get the key to the basement? All right, here we go. Huh? But I have the key. That's not the right door. Just kidding. Who goes there? This dork. Yeah, none of this information is actually helpful in any way. Like, crap, chips, sure, string binder, no. You know, dear Samantha, I would like to cordially thank you for your abode, Thanksgiving holiday, lovely family, blah de blah, Lonnie D, a fancy man, quite. Dear Mr. Soto, I'd like to take the opportunity for being such a gracious host of festivities. Uh, following the aforementioned meal with Paris, Thanksgiving Thanksgiving was more enjoyable than two events, I must say. Madame Samantha Greenbrier, Esquire. Uh, is there another note under that? No, it's not. That's all the light you get. Okay, well... That's where the ghost lives. We're gonna go there last. What is this? It's different. Is now. it? I mean, we still hang out all the time like before. But now when no one else is around. We're smooching. <laughs> well, you know. So you could say we're dating. But it's secret. Secret dating? I don't know. I mean, I guess that's the real difference. Now when we get off the phone, or go home for the night, or it's just quiet and we're alone, we say I love you. Caitlin did the same test, but instead of writing a story about World War II, she did it correctly. Yeah. Making your sister look like a real fool. Isidore! Cast it into the fire! No. Isidore! Pick it up. Pick that up. Put that up right. Just let it sit there like that. So about the grin by Well, please to inform you of your admission to the creative writing track of the Reed College. Blah, blah, blah. You have so much to contribute, etc., etc. Julia Morris. Oh, congratulations. I'm so stupid sometimes. Like writing this journal entry. I was telling Lonnie that I got into my college summer program thing. And I was all making plans like, you should come visit me, stay in my dorm room. But she said, Sam, I ship out on June 6th. 
I was like, ship out? To where? Afghanistan. She said, to basic training. What did you think I was doing all that ROTC stuff for? I guess she's been planning to join the army right after high school since she was like, 12. And I guess she's really going to do it. So I was like, after graduation, I'm just never going to see you again? Richard she said, Greenbrier. let's just have fun while we can. Wait, what is this? Who's Richard Greenbrier? Old, though. Maybe, like, one of the parents' parents or something? Perhaps one of Dad's book with something stuck to it. The accidental savior. Terrence, thank you for sending along a copy of your newly published book and author's first published manuscript is a momentous occasion. I read it this afternoon. I certainly recognize my son in the subject matter. An author's work is... An author's work is the externalization of that which he holds dear and fears. In this respect, I believe your work was successful. But the lens through which the personal shown was needlessly clouded by genre cliches and a plausible dime store science fictional TX Machina. The great author speaks of their life's milieu in clear and honest tones, the lens crystal that refracts their thoughts without distortion. I congratulate you on surviving the greatest ordeal of this publication. Rest assured that the readers of your chosen genre will lap up copies hungrily, but I urge you to shed artifice. You can do better. Oh, wow. Letter from Granddad. Hello? I swear, if anybody's here, you you freaking gonna catch these hands. That's mom's citizenship stuff. She's not from around here. Where's she from? She's married. Janice Elizabeth Connolly Greenbrier. Naturalization. So this was a green card marriage. So she's out running around with all these forest rangers because she never loved father dun 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 postcard oh that's Canada hey Sam I'm running through from Moltenock Falls here in the class trip blah 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 it's March and this is cold wish you were here because of stuff they tell you to stick with the group on field trips, Katie. There's a reason for that. So don't get lost. Lonnie and I snuck off on the side paths at Multnomah Falls and got a little lost. Yeah. Okay, a lot lost. Like, for hours. Right before the bus left, we found a trail hmm. and came running down the path, soaked and covered in mud, shouting for the bus not to leave. The school called home. Mom and Dad said, you didn't get into trouble like this before you met that Lonnie girl. But I don't think they know, no, about us. The kids at school, though, I'm really afraid that's a whole other story. Stick with the group, Katie. Stick with the group. What the heck? Servants' quarters? What the heck? Library. Kitchen. Mr. Masson's room. Guest room. Front door. Library. Kitchen. Read letter. Yolanda de Soto. Blah, 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 blah. Dear Sam, oh boy, I am so happy you like the drawing. I was thinking of us when I would be able to tell you love Mexico. I think probably nature here is totally different from back home. I keep thinking about Allegra, the first mate lost in the mysterious island. Even the plants, you just have to get them. Blah, blah, blah. The lion bed, I can almost feel you. <laughs> uh, okay, that's enough about that. Your last letter. Take tons of photos, etc., etc. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh oh. Posting private stuff. 
the junk room. Where should I go first? I'm going to go back to the junk room, I think. What the heck am I looking at here? And a ghost! Pratmobile. Scraps. That's a lie to mom and dad situation, but it was so worth it. Blah, blah, blah. Psycho House Girl. Costume. Skeletons. Cheerleaders. Etc. Etc. Dear my screen buyer, I appreciate the time and effort in writing your letter. So the initiative is well written, but it's not changing my mind on the matter. Oh, we all defaced school property with profanity. The fact that she allegedly defaced her own locker in retaliation for another student did the same to yours is immaterial. Uh, to your complaint that another student has been punished for their part of this incident, the fact is that no guilty party has come forward. There has been no convincing evidence as to who might have defaced your locker. In other words, there is no one to punish. So just letting this issue drop as it will only bring more unwanted attention on yourself, which I believe is what you claim began this whole incident in the first place. Yeah. I don't get Lonnie sometimes. Like her band, and our zine, and her hair, and everything. She's tough for the wild Mustang! Authority. But I watch her in JROTC, <laughs> and she's doing drills in perfect formation. Following orders, no question. And there's all this stuff in the news about don't ask, don't tell. Like, she's going to join the army and then have to lie? about who she is she said they don't need to know what they don't need to know like it was no big deal this from the girl who trashed her locker to like defend my honor i've learned when to stop arguing though i don't think lonnie even gets lonnie sometimes Alright, here we go. More terrible music. Whew. Hey, at least they're having fun. Are we now? Oh, look at that! Came all the way back around. Froth, music and culture, man. Who Kipsy's teenager of the year? You can't, you can't take anything seriously with that name. Who Kipsy? Good lord. Hey, Lonnie, sorry, my mom was such a. Oh, last night she's hardly ever around. Says her forest is like an hour away. And then when she's home, she takes it out on you, like, because you're not a member of the family. She knows you won't call her on it, and I'm sorry. It's okay, she's just jealous of our cool, freewheeling lifestyles. I feel sorry for you. I'm lucky my mom lives in Florida. You have to ha have a mom every day. Sorry to me to bring it up. The mom thing, I know I should complain. No, I'm being serious. My mom is a psycho, and her new husband, Dawn, is a complete two. Living in Florida with him is her eternal punishment in my mind. So you would rather live with your mom in Florida? No. That's going to be a fat no. Uh, letter of promotion. The mom's trying to run off with that. With that suspicious officer rig. Oh, what do we have here? Earth, Wind, and Fire concert. 25 bucks. It's a great deal for a concert. Okay, but before we go up through much of that, though, I need to go back down here. Uh, what is this? Oh, interesting. Mm. 
Man, I'd love to have a house with this much secret passages and stuff. Okay, so I went there, but I did not venture out over through the servant's room. Girl Scout, the band normally form a set list. Uh, stuff, sure. Todd's band lost their singer. Todd said he sucked. Lonnie said he got sick of Todd's shit, and he was complaining about needing a new singer. So Lonnie was like, I can sing. And they were all kind of like, you can? And she was like, probably. But she's been rehearsing with them for like a week now. And I finally got to see them play in Todd's basement today. And she's actually really amazing. I feel so proud when she's on stage. Hey, girl. I've it's heard that music. It is someone you love. not good. So everybody knows it's like a temporary situation till she ships out in June. But till then, I'm gonna be at every single show. Hmm. Nothing. There's nothing in here apparently. Cobwebs. And I think I feel a ghost. Sure, it's nothing. Terry. Age. All kinds of stuff. Terry. Wait, the grandfather got his measurements here? Near the servants' quarters? Huh. That's something. That sure is something. Also, what fool didn't install lights along this hallway? Okay, just getting a look at where I am. I'm in the secret part of the secret. Yep. Wait, this isn't where I wanted to be. I wanted to go to the other secret, this direction. Yeah, here we go. This secret way, okay. What do we got here? Note, this skull was the coolest thing I found in Mexico, and it was like three bucks. Um, here's a question. Why are all these notes just scattered all over the house like this? That's what I want to know. Oh, it's dork. It's so dork. Mom's purse. Money, 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 money. Nope. Pamphlet. Nope. Note. Jane, I got two tickets for Ea Earth, Wind, and Fire on Thursday, but my girlfriend says she doesn't want to, so her taste of music grits its ugly head again. That leaves me with an extra ticket I thought you might be interested in. More fun than clearing brush in the freezing rain, right, Rick? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Mom's running around town. Uh-oh. Examine slip. Disciplinary referral. Inappropriate materials on school grounds. Uh, zine, that's that one from before. Another one of the postcards I sent. Oh, this one's from... I think that's Yugoslavia. Mom and Dad, it's the Vatican is weird. I don't know why she's talking about the Vatican if she's in Yugoslavia. Uh, as you can see, the Catholic Church still has a lot of money left over from the Middle Ages. I've gotten to see all the art, including the Sistine Chapel ceiling, sculptures, Donatello, and the Renaissance Journals. Let's come back together. Uh, next up, Barcelona. Calm down, Dad. I won't get gored by a bull, probably. Nothing. Hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Uh, okay. 
letter. First off, congratulations, Janice, regional director, and I must say congratulations because you're going to take the job, right? What are you waiting for? A grave vacation, call him back. But in the meantime, let's discuss this little outing you had with our favorite flannel-clad hunk. What a blast, but you sound like you're reading a lot of your innocent night out. You're sure there's another thing there? He says he has an out-of-town girlfriend. Uh, ooh. Yeah, she's confessing to her deeds with her little friend there. But, oi, we're the gits and we suck! Sam, since you refuse to hear us out this afternoon, your mother and I are putting this in writing so that we are absolutely clear. You are grounded for the rest of the month from social and telephone privileges and from using your car for anything except going to and from school. We understand that you are going through, but we can't allow you to continue with this kind of behavior at school. Clearly, one of your privileges were reinstated. Can't allow you to have your bedroom door closed while Lonnie is at the house. This is the last word on the matter. Get back on course. This won't happen again. I had an interesting talk with mom and dad tonight. One you were never going to need to have. Don't give up on this honey. I mean, you've known, right? I've known. I've known since, like, she -Ra. Mom and dad didn't, I guess. Bum, bum, bum. They saw the zine and stuff on the locker, and they were like, is there something we should know about you and Lonnie? And so here's the thing. I was prepared for them to be mad, or disappointed, or start crying, or something. But they were just in denial. Uh. You're too young to know what you want. You and Lonnie are just good friends. You just haven't met the right boy. It's a phase. That's what I didn't see coming. That they wouldn't even respect me enough to believe me. Well, joke's on them. Because they're in for one very long phase. Dear Regional Conservation Director Greenby, uh, having received a formal scriptures letter, right to congratulate on you, blah blah blah. Says blah 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 blah. Took the job. Uh, blah blah blah. Another telephone directory as if one family doesn't need more. Rick's wedding. Uh oh. Katie comes home this month with call with exact date. Anniversary trip, Sam Dentist. Check potluck. Rick's wedding. Uh oh. So Rick got married to someone else? How terrible. Sam, your mother and I will be away for a long weekend celebrating our anniversary. We'll be camping in the gorge. We will give you a call on the way home. So the kitchen is mid renovation. Never trust a contractor. Forty bucks on the table to get pizza. Grab hat. ROTC. Uh oh. I asked Lonnie what she had to do to get ready to ship out for basic training. She said, "Not a lot, really. You're not allowed to bring anything with you. So you have no possessions. No contact with the outside world while you're in basic. You just train hard every day, and then you deploy from there." So, they'll just send her away. Like military. To who knows where. The other side of the country. The other side of the world. My mind, like, can't process it. That she's really going to be gone. Just gone. Looks like the father found success with a new publisher for his books. That's fantastic. Got a new album art. Very cool. Nothing in the microwave. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. Grab soda can. Put it back. Oh, peanut butter. Almonds. Almonds. Crazy peanut butter. Foink. Uh, put this somewhere where, where sister can't smell it. There we go. Hmm.
really need to get an audio engineer on that. What do we got here? The exit will save you. John Russell knows the prison's life hangs in the balance, but who would believe him? No one. Shipping label. Oh. Okay. Oh, no, I came from there. Whoop. Ghost. Ghosts. Sit on the floor. That knife could be something deadly, or it could just be somebody dropped on it. Oh, that's a room. Why is there a window to that room? Oh, let's see here. I need to go this way. I'm going south. Okay. I said this one from Barcelona. Hi, Mom, Dad, and Sam. I have had a wonderful time on the beaches of Barcelona. Dad and Sam, I think you'd find the Gaudi architecture. It's from a strange alien world. I'm headed to my final destination, Amsterdam. For how long? That depends. I'm running low on money. I'll look for a cheap standby ticket and call you when I'm headed home. Sorry for the short notice. Can't wait to see you all again. It'll be good to be home. Love, Kitty. Read a crumpled note. Booted out Girl Scout. Lonnie had her going away show with her band tonight. She's so incredible on stage. When she was singing, I could practically forget everything. That we only had 48 hours left. That I don't know what comes next. That I can't live without her. Then she dedicated the last song to me. And I couldn't take it. I was out on the curb in the alley, sobbing till my ribs hurt. I would follow her anywhere, Katie. But I can't. Where she's going. After a long time, she's just she going to me. basic training. She said she was sorry. She said, I wish things could be different. I just wanted to make you happy. I said, I don't think you can anymore. Dramatic. Grab cleansing powder. Puh. This is so incredibly melodramatic. I mean, it's pretty accurate. Like, this is how 17 year olds think. Like, their first love life is the entire world. I mean, it's good writing. You gotta give it to them. So many just piles of clothes and stuff everywhere. Hello, family? Sam, I wish I knew how to explain it better. The army is the thing I grew up with. It's a part of me. My dad's army friends are like family. I've always known this is where I'd end up. I'd never thought of any other way. I wish things could be different. Maybe someday when I'm settled at base and you're done with college and you're a famous writer and I can... Rebuild a tank engine with my eyes closed. Things will be different and we can be together. Until then. Yeah, like, people go away for college and stuff and... It's not the end of the world, believe it or not. Let's see here. Greenhouse. Hello, family? Is my family out here? Dang, we're balling. We got two. This is a two typewriter family. Cover copy. It's been almost 20 years since John Russell's heard the call. Twice he saved a president's life. He'd practically forgotten the days of the future of danger and excitement. The days where he mattered. So, one, that familiar rip in time opens in front of him, and his handlers peer out. He doesn't hesitate. Is the president in danger? No. The life you saved this time. Will be your own. Dear Kaz, kid, tell you what a joy it is to see John Russell back in print. Thank you very much for sending along copies of the new editions. The cover art's really something. 
I know you've said that Unknown Dimension isn't in the business of printing new material, but this revived interest in my work has brought on a wave of inspiration, resulting in a manuscript that completes John Russell's journey, which I think you will find intriguing. It's reflective and introspective, without forgetting the excitement and weirdness that Unknown Dimension's readers expect. I hope this might be—I hope this might be an exciting new direction for Unknown Dimension to pursue. At the very least, I am grateful that John Russell's adventures didn't come to quite to an end quite when I thought they had. Thanks in regards. My reading skills are suffering. The accidental pariah. Manuscript. The accidental human. Huh? Strong pines. Couples counseling retreat. Uh oh. Uh oh. Dad found out about Hunter Rick and his duplicitous wife. <laughs> what you get for a green card marriage. Should listen to Drake. Examine map. Where we'll do it. Midnight, June 5. Final preparations are complete. Where we'll do what? We agreed our last night together would be our happiest ever. And we'd forget tomorrow was going to come at all. It worked for a while. We had a good time seeing Oscar off. Then ran up to the attic to look through our photos. To find one for Lonnie to take with Who's him. Who's Oscar? And looking at them, I realized they were all in the past. That's what a photo is. And there wouldn't be any more. I didn't know what I was going to do. And I cried. And she and I me. cried so far away. Oh, I was right. right she there. said she knew it was hard, but life would move on. I said I didn't want my life to keep moving without her. That's when she cried too. The skull makes me think of you. I was so exhausted. I must have fallen asleep like that. In her arms. In the morning, I woke up. And I was finally alone. Alone with my very sad thoughts. Hey, yo! Hey, yo! Hey, yo! The food pyramid. Honey snaps. Attic key. The sunset light in this house is the saddest thing I've ever seen. I just want to sleep. When I'm in the attic, it almost feels like Lonnie could still be here. She's just downstairs. I'm just waiting to hear her pull down the hatch and come running up. Maybe I'll go up to the attic. And wait. Hey, yo? Oscar. Um. Um. Hey, you girls, what are y'all doing? What are y'all doing? Holy crap, are you trying to stop? I'm just gonna quickly just take this. And... There we go. You get out of here. You get out of here. You get out of here. Whew, saved. I think we're safe now. Yo, these girls, uh... Boy, when they turned from the path, they really did a 180. This girl's like, I'm gonna rebel against my parents and everything. And God's like, word? Me too? All right, time to go meet the ghost of Oscar. Hello, ghosts. <sighs> Examine drawings. Sam, remember what we've always had. Stay strong, kick arse, and I love ya. Oh my God, 
Katie, uh, I fell asleep in the attic, in Lonnie and my old spot, and I missed the first two calls. Calls what? I just barely caught the third one before the machine got it. And it was Lonnie, on a payphone. Oh, yeah? She'd been on the bus to basic, and she said she couldn't... She couldn't think of anything but me, and us, and that she couldn't go through with it, with the army and being a part, and all of it. And so she got off the bus in Salem. She said, Sam, I want you to pack up everything you can, and get in your car, and come find me. And let's just drive until we find somewhere for us. And she asked me if I could do that. And since you're 17 years and old, I you said, said yes. yes, of course. Yes. Just throw away your future. Come on. I'm starting to think. Being psycho does run in the family. You've got your whole lives ahead of you. Get your career in order. Then worry about your love life. Dear Lord. Katie, I'm so sorry. I forgive you. That I can't be there to see you in person. Uh, you could have, very easily. That I can't tell you all this myself. Again, their phones. But I hope as you read this journal... And you think back, that you'll understand why I had to do what I did. What's that? And that you won't be sad, and you won't hate me, and you'll just know that I am where I need to be. I love you so much, Katie. I'll see you again. Just pick up a phone. Someday. Love, Sam. So, so I do it first so you won't see me. So you're just gonna live as bums and not even call your sister? Terrible! I think she goed. Oh, it's okay. Completed the game. I did it. I solved all the puzzles. Not by myself, though. I had some help. But uh, that game was pretty easy. I didn't die. Didn't get caught by the ghost. And my... My sister made a um, terribly impulsive decision at the tender age of 17, so whoopsie doodle, she'll live to regret that, but, you know, maybe in the end it'll all work out just fine. That's what you hope for anyways. And what I hope for is that you have a good day. I'll see you next time.